Well, before you buy a flash for your camera, first of all, you need to understand uh, what type of flash you're buying, whether you're buying the manual uh, flash or whether you're buying the automatic one or TTL through the lens. So uh, let's quickly discuss it. So first of all, you need to look at this uh, mount. So it's either the hot shoe or cold shoe, or like in this case, I would call it, some people call it cold shoe. Although typical cold shoe is like when for accessories, it's actually an accessory uh, mount. There is no connector here. Uh, uh, apart from the mechanical one, but there is nothing for electrical signal to be carried because there is no need for accessories to talk to the camera, whereas the flash needs to talk to your camera. Now, so this one, as I said, is um, uh, this uh, half cold or warm shoe. Uh, so it does have two communicators, the one around and there is a small pin uh, in the center. Hopefully you can uh, see it. So when I put it on the camera, it will uh, the camera will trigger the flash, however the camera is not aware of the flash or just completely ignores it. So uh, you need to, exp or I need to uh, set the exposure in my camera to manual uh, and uh, set the exposure in the flash manually as well. If it's a dark room, then usually the photo will be overexposed because the camera doesn't know there is a flash or ignores it. It exposes for the light available in the room and then there is a flash and it's overexposed. So it's important when you buy a flash like this to be aware of it. So why would anyone buy a flash that doesn't have this um, a full set of connectors, the full hot shoe? Uh, well, first of all, because um, such uh, flashes are a bit cheaper. That's one of the, the reason. Another uh, reason is that they are good as slaves, for example. So a secondary flashes that can be triggered by either another flash or through some wireless systems and also uh, you can use uh, very often some cables like in this case you can connect this with a uh, the, this is a specialized cable for flashes you connect to a camera and then there is some communication uh, so that's another reason so these are very useful now another thing to know before you buy the flashes is this so-called uh, synchronization so you've got uh, X-Sync, uh, F, Pair HSS and some other things. Well, they relate actually to the delay between uh, when the shutter speed opens fully or when it doesn't open fully, it kind of moves around like this. So um, it refers to that time when the flashes start, uh, sorry, the shutter is open and the time when the flash reaches its peak. Depending on the bulb used in the flash, the peak can be uh, reached either immediately or after some short delay, a few milliseconds, uh, and therefore different standards, standards have been created and, uh, and they are referred to as those X sync or HSS sync and other sync uh, terms. So you need to again check the manual of the camera, check the, uh, the flash to understand the limitations of each. So for example with some types of sync, uh, you won't be able to go above one uh, three hundredth of a second like in this case. So this is a fairly inexpensive but really good flash. I'm going to review it in the next video, so uh, watch it. The links will be somewhere there and underneath. Yeah, so this one, uh, it goes up to one three hundredth of a second according to the manual and I took it at one three fiftieth of a second and half uh, around half of the picture was not uh, uh, exposed properly so for most purposes it's unusable um, and there are then there are flashes that around allow you to take photos with and with uh, flash speeds of uh, sorry shutter speeds of around one two thousandth of a second even as well so uh, you need to be aware of it for most people it doesn't really matter what, what I would suggest if you're buying your first flash make sure that you buy the full hot flash so in case of Sony there will be some extra uh, kind of pins up there at the top or at the bottom uh, where is it this it goes in the camera which way it goes to the camera this way yeah so at the front here whereas in I think Canon and Nikon there will be extra uh, connectors here in the center actually so uh, basically that's it uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, check the next video in which I explain uh, how those uh, slave uh, flashes work and I will review um, this, uh, this flash as well and I'll tell you why I think it's actually a great flash. Take care and of course subscribe, of course subscribe, click this like button, it helps with algorithm and everything, you know, so comments, 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 yes, thanks a lot.